Hey, it's Ronan, uh, and today let's look at how to learn the song. I don't know how to pronounce this band's name or the song. I think it's in German. Uh, Folk Schilf, and the song is called How die Herr. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. This comes from uh, an accordion love student who is new. Um, I'm wondering if you could maybe take a listen to the song and give me some advice on what to focus so I can play such rather simple sounding pop songs. Good. I, this is the same whether it's a complicated or an easy song. I'll go through and listen to it. I'll derive the chords of the song. Usually a song contains four or five chords. And then I'll give you some suggestions on how to approach learning it. Obviously, you're a part of Accordion Love, uh, the specific student. If you're not, I discuss these in more detail. How to build chords, how to connect them, how to make yourself more musical. There's a free three-day trial. Let's listen to the song together. Rewind. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba. I think there's an accordion. I'm trying to play back what I hear. Right, that seemed to be the first note. Let's rewind. Ba, ba. Good, now that's the melody. That doesn't give us the chord. That's a B. What goes underneath the B? That's a good question. It could be three or four chords. It could be an E minor. Yeah, it is. That's just musical experience. I don't expect you to do this. Just know that one chord in the song is an E minor. And you need to know how to find the E minor on your left hand and play the minor. Yeah, let's keep. Let's see where it's going to connect to. But in my mind, I know that this is one of the chords, and so the song will center around an E minor. The ninety-nine percent, the song won't have an B flat. Ninety-nine percent, the song won't have an F. It might have an F major, but it likely won't. It's likely going to center around these notes, around the E minor. Let's listen. Let's see if we're right. Papa went to a major, went to a, went to a G major. E minor, G major. Down, Papa. To a B minor or B major. Right? which is right next to the E minor. So our three chords so far, E minor. G major, B minor. And now that's three chords. I said there would be maybe four or five. We're gonna need to resolve this. So we have E minor to the G major, to the B minor. How do we resolve this? Lots of ways. D major sounds nice. And now I'm drawing on musical theory, but also all the songs that I've ever heard before. I'm thinking of that Amelie song, E minor. How does it go? G major. B minor. D, right? That's why I said D, but let's keep listening. I'm just gonna rewind. Let's listen. Ba, ba. So it's a different chord. So they finish with the A major. So our four chords in the verse, in the song, E minor, G, B minor, A. Four chords that are very close. E minor, G, B minor, A. For your 15 minutes of practice every day, you need to be able to identify those chords and put your fingers on them without looking. And you need to be able to move between those chords without missing them. So look at my 15 minutes of practice. For five minutes, that's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. 
yeah good and again it's okay to look and again just over and over while you're watching tv it's not sexy it's not fun but that's what you do in different rhythms good that's left hand let's keep going Looking to see if the chords change. The, the chords change there. Good. Now, to go back to what I said, you do that with the left hand, you also do it with the right hand. So look at my basics lessons on how to build major and minor chords and do their trides and arpeggios. Because you need to be able to build an E minor and come back to it. Switch to a G major, B minor. A major. That's important too. That has to happen. And work with solid chords and broken ones. Right? Look at my 15 minutes of practice. And we also need to move our hand along the notes, which is likely an E minor scale. One, two, three. Just to, so your fingers are familiar with the notes of these, of the song. Let's keep going because it seemed like there was more happening in the chorus here. Da da ba ba, right? So we have that B minor, and there's a really beautiful shape in accordion and piano which is a difference of one. Right, so... That sounds like what they were playing. I'm gonna listen to see what the chords are in the chords. In the chorus. Again. I'm going to rewind. Good. So there's just a little bit of a, they were playing the verse, right? They were doing an E minor, da ba da ba da ba G major, do da ba da ba da B minor, do di ba da ba da A major. And then they had a little break where they just played a B minor. Da 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 da. Back to verse, E minor. Let's listen to, so, so those are the five chords in the song. Sorry, four chords in the song. Good, so those are the chords of the song and that's how you practice them. Now, how do you make the song musical? So it's not just, that's okay if it's that, but how do we build over the next few months 
to, to be able to, to play some of the melody. So it depends if you're singing it. If you're singing it, just know those chords, right? And do the... Here are the words now. Here are more words now. Da 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 da. Then you just accompany yourself. But if you want to actually play the notes of the song, let me listen again. Right? Oh, that's the name of the song. We're gonna play, we're gonna need to move our finger in, fingers in a melody. So it's right. So it's and start to do a rhythm that we like usually in pop songs. To answer your question, uh, I I like I usually use. Anything works. You could do a waltz or a tango, but usually bass tone, 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 bass tone, 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 bass tone, tone, bass tone. Right? You could do an alternate bass technique. listening to the verse so ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba i'm still ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba right Doing the bass tone, bass tone, bass tone, bass tone as an alternate bass technique. It's a tango, right? bass tone bass tone and then you could be more sparse with it but again at the root of it what you're doing forever really for next few months for next few weeks is finding those chords if i wake you up at two in the morning and i say do a b minor your fingers should go into the b minor shape and land on your keys if i wake you up at I don't know what's with waking up early in the morning. If I say play uh, E minor to G major, there's your E minor without looking over the next few weeks to a G major. And it's okay to miss it. I missed that chord change too, but you should be able to jump between them in order for things to happen. Let me know if you have any questions. Really great song, really cool band. Um, yeah. Thank you. Let me know if you have any questions.